We're back. They're back. It's with more details later. Yeah, we're back for another uh, movie log because there were two movies we saw, not in the same day, but like we saw recently. Yes. So what's the movie we saw? Okay, the the other movie we saw with uh, the guys, uh, last yeah last month. Well, a couple yeah a couple weeks ago yes we went to go see yeah Deadpool. what's the movie Deadpool yes <laughs> the the better Deadpool not the X Men Origin Wolverine oh yeah that one Deadpool yeah. that one <laughs> all right so uh, were you excited to see De- Deadpool? Uh, I went in not expecting. Anything I, I try to avoid the trailers, so I just wanted to go in there, you know, fresh and see what happens. And I, I think it was good, better that way. Yes, then I get spoiled, and it was good. Yeah, uh, f- yeah. So Deadpool, it's like uh, I was curious enough to go see it, like just to check it out because it seemed like a fun movie, and everyone was said it was gonna be a fu- or said it was a fun movie, and apparently it was almost it either beat out Star Wars or it was almost beating out Star Wars was uh, what I heard about it. Yeah, it had the highest. Gross, grossing for rated R movie of all. Time. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the thing yeah, with Deadpool. Time. It's a rated R Marvel movie. Yeah, pretty crazy. And, and people liked it. So, uh, <laughs> what did you think about the thing with parents not knowing who the who Deadpool is and not looking at the rating and just bringing their kids in and their kids are like, "Mommy, what's that woman doing <laughs> doing to that man's face?" Well, I mean, I would think parents would know better because, I mean. I mean, when you have dead in the title, you know it's not going to be <laughs> a kid's movie, right? I mean, come on. Or something it, like a death stroke. Yeah, and it's rated R. I mean, you know, it's pretty obvious. Oh, but, it, but, 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 but dear, <laughs> it's a superhero movie. <laughs> well, I, I would think the parents would know better, but hey, maybe not. Uh, yeah, so a lot of them were kind of like surprised caught guard. and caught off guard, surprised and offended by the movie. Like, oh, I thought this was a superhero movie because it's Marvel. <laughs> Shame on you. Well, I can't really understand that. I mean, that stance. I mean, with, with if a PG movie was really dark, like a Gremlins or a Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, then I can understand the parents' complaint. But if it's clearly rated R, I think you should know better <laughs> and not bring your, your kids to go see rated R movie. But R for retarded. Yeah, it's like as <laughs> in this case. Yeah. So I thought that was just like, well, you went in an R movie. What were you expecting? Yeah. Yeah, what were you? Because these days it's very rare to have a R-rated movie. Most movies are PG fourteen at most. So when it's R, you know it's gonna be pretty graphic. That's the way it works right now, right? So was was the movie graphic? Uh, yes, it was. Uh, like you know, as far as we can remember from the, like the past yes, two weeks, there was uh, you know decapitations of some kind, the uh, limbs showing and limbs stuff showing like, headshots, uh, headshots or triple headshot, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, one thing I really liked about the film was the way it opened. Um, or opened up. It opened up. Like, instead of showing you the the oh. cast members, it would just show... Oh, God, the credits are the, like... The credits a... would be, like, you know, making fun of the characters. Like, well, like a really... A protagonist, a CGI some, character, uh, some asshole. Villain some, from... Or some British... British villain, yeah. Stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, so the thing with this Deadpool <laughs> movie, it was actually not going to be made, but the fans made it possible. Oh, they made it possible. Because yeah. Ryan Reynolds leaked footage of it intentionally online leaked <laughs> so, and, and got the fans really hyped up and Marvel was like okay make a movie out of it so if it wasn't for Ryan Reynolds who uh, yeah Ryan Reynolds who um, who was a big fan of it and is also ironically Canadian who plays Deadpool and Deadpool is a Canadian character so yeah that makes sense uh, uh, th- we wouldn't have had this uh, movie and in fact the the footage he leaked they just kept it in there because uh, people were going to like it anyways I wonder how did he leak it, guys? Knowing how Deadpool is, do you think like he was in the in the washroom taking a leak and he leaked it out that way? The, the, the well, toilet the, was connected to the internet. Deadpool would do something like that. He breaks the fourth wall a lot in this movie, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, he does. But it's kind of like not quite like the comics or like you know all the speech yeah. bubbles and stuff. It's kind of it's very mm, control. Yeah, he definitely pulls you in, and he he's like, like it's very movie reference. Like, a, oh hey, I'm talking, I'm talking to the to camera you. right now. <laughs> so. So yeah, so you say you liked the the Deadpool movie and how it turned out, right? Yeah, it was definitely a, it was a satire on on the Marvel comics uh, genre, and it was it definitely brought you into it. It involved the the audience, um, a lot of good action. Uh, plot wise, maybe not the greatest plot, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the movie. I swear, half the movie was just his origin story. Yeah, a which, lot of, uh, and it was like flashbacks and like right this, back and forth like and the, like, like the car scene. They kept showing that that moment in his it life. was the uh, flashback was leading all the way up to the beginning of the scene which was yeah, him in the car yeah. 
and I felt like like the last third of the movie was uh you know that's where all the action happened, but um yeah I I, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, I would definitely go check it out if you're a Marvel fan. Oh, but be careful if you're under yeah, whatever, underage. whatever, because yeah. of all the rated R stuff, which is not actually that bad considering what we watched uh, just now. Yeah. I mean, there is def- the, the sex and the nudity perhaps maybe because there was a strip club. Yeah, and movie. actually interesting cameo there, right? Uh, no, we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I liked it. Uh, Ryan Reynolds um, did, a, did a pretty good job as like his take on... Deadpool, yeah, because I also, I also saw the take on Deadpool with uh, Nolan North in the Deadpool game, and let's see, and then the and then the, in the Ultimate Spider-Man too, like uh, all the Deadpools I've seen are were done pretty well, nice. except for um the the the, the Wolverine one, which uh, yeah, I, mean, I didn't know that was also Ryan Reynolds, yeah, and was. I don't know why I know. he didn't object or say anything to that, like basically because he, he was a fan, right? <laughs> a fan would be like. This isn't how Deadpool is. Yeah, basically the Wolverine origin movie was like the censored version of Deadpool. Like, they literally sealed his mouth at one point. And oh. Then, and turned into like Weapon X Freak of Nature with Cyclops Blast and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, there's, lots of, glass there's a lot of reference of back to Ryan Reynolds himself. Yeah, like the action, some of it was kind of cheap, too. Yeah, the action figure. Yeah, yeah, where it was like... <laughs> From the like, Wolverine origin. Our, 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 uh, our buddy George didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I, I had to, I was like, oh, that was from X-Men Origin. He was like, oh, really? Yeah. He didn't know that. So there was a lot of like punch at himself. From, or the, even, from you, the studio company that uh, sealed his mouth shut. And not only that, with uh, the only there's only two X Men in this film, and he, he he pokes fun at that as well. Oh god, like about the budget, like oh, <laughs> it's only it's, all, all I ever see are you two guys. Yeah. Uh, it's almost as if some company didn't have the budget for more X Men, which then, was gonna be funny. And then uh, even Hugh Jackman, uh, he didn't make a, an actual physical appearance, but then he, I mean, he's I guess spiritually in the movie because he he wears like his. Uh, his face has a mask at one point, or near near the end. So I guess that was their way of including Hugh Jackman in the, in the movie. Oh, when did that part happen? Uh, near the end, but uh, his his girlfriend's gonna take his mask off, but then he, he plays, you know. He, oh, the he makes, cardboard he makes it harder for a size of cardboard Hugh Jackman face. Off. Oh yeah, and then yeah. there's other stuff like uh, Ryan Reynolds playing as Green Lantern. He's like, hey, don't put me in a green costume, <laughs> or animated. Oh yeah, they reference that too. Yeah. Uh, then of course somewhere in the movie, he's like, you think Ryan Reynolds got. Like got all the way here because he sat on his ass or something. That was a pretty weak one, I gotta yeah, say. Yeah. It was kind of like a little too self-indulging yeah, for part. Sure. Which uh, going back to the trailers, the trailers, the early trailers didn't spoil much. They actually hyped up the movie a little bit more, but the later trailers uh, kind of ruined it. it. And I also I was I was talking to you about like uh, the trailers, how the lines in the movie were changed. Oh yeah, you did say that. There yeah. were like uh, two, two, there were a few lines, uh, but two of them I remember. One was uh, when he when Ryan Reynolds or Wade Wilson was strapped onto the chair, and he was like, "Hey, hey, Francis, what are you gonna do? Leave me with Jose Canseco?" But in the movie, it was uh, what you're gonna leave me with angry, less angry Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> and uh, then there was a thing when uh, his friend, who was his friend again in the movie? I know it's the guy with the glasses. I forget his name. On the bar, right? Yeah. It. Anyways, it's it's that guy, and uh, in, the original line was like, "Whoa, your face looks like an inside-out asshole." <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, but in the movie, it's like, "Whoa, you look like Freddy Krueger." Fuck the map of Utah. Yeah, they or no, 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 it was the avocado. Avocado. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that's right. Speaking <laughs> of uh, Deadpool's face, it doesn't look that horrific. Yeah. Compared to the comic. Yeah, in the comic, he look. They call him like a cancer. Or burger face because he's very uh, bur- grounded, grounded, bubbly, face. or tenderized, yeah, tenderized face. But uh, in this one, it was more like uh, he got maybe burnt a bit. And, it looks uh, like he got like a bad acne bad problem. Acne, yeah. So that that part was a little weak, but it's not important. The fact it's just that his face is fucked up. That from uh, <laughs> from uh, trying to get a mute mutant power. But yeah, like you said, the plot is kind of simplistic, simple. Yeah. He has to rescue his girlfriend. Well, he also has a... Uh, uh, there was a part where he, he finds out that he's diagnosed with cancer. Of course. So then he has to, uh, you know, try to find a way to fight it. And apparently there's a... Or, and also, an like, uh, and, and his relation, because his, uh, yeah. his relationship with Vanessa yeah. was... Uh, that's his girlfriend. It was like, oh, I got cancer. And it's like, well, I don't want to make you unhappy, so I'm going to leave you somehow. And yeah, then, he doesn't want to involve her. And then this guy... And then this, like... Agent Smith guy comes over and is like, "Hey, we got this thing that could, that could cure you." Yeah, 
Not sure why we're offering it specifically to you, yeah. and not to the world, but it can cure you. Yeah. And then you find out it's an illegal underground uh, or Weapon X program. Yeah, and then the guy who's... Uh, I don't know if he's the... Wait, Ajax? Yeah, well, his he, he tries to call himself Ajax, but his actual name is Francis, and he doesn't like that not, name. Not the Francis we know, he's, he's definitely not Pope Francis or, yeah, or Serio X, but... Uh, yeah, so he's a very uh, unfeeling character because... Well, his mutant power is that he doesn't feel anything, and he, he... yeah, would you call that a mutant power? It sounds more like a disability, like yeah. it's just like you lost the ability to feel pain, which I yeah. actually pointed out. Yeah, because uh, he got stabbed. Francis got stabbed on the uh, bridge, and I was like, if that was anyone else, it'd be like, oh fuck! Yeah. but it's like it's like, oh, he doesn't feel pain. Okay, yeah. well that well, explains. He pretty much doesn't feel anything. He's a pretty unfeeling character, uh, unless you call him by his name. That is, I guess, then he feels something. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, but yeah, uh, did you think did you like that villain, or do you think it was kind of for weird? an origin start? It, it works out. It's it's yeah. simplistic because that doesn't have to be. It wasn't overly fancy or anything. Yeah. Just uh, but the but yeah, it, like it worked out. Like despite what I would say about it, of it being simplistic, with uh, because uh, we were talk we were saying the origin like took like like half the movie's runtime, and I was just like, like I knew I know the origin story is important, but. It was kind of bore, or not boring, but it was kind of like I wanted to see the Deadpool. I wanted the Deadpool part, not the Wade Wilson part, because Wade Wilson is boring. Shoot, <laughs> but you have to have that origin, so you know I kind of let it slide. Yeah, because it was all going back to where he was on the, on the bridge in the car fighting all the bad guys, uh, in what was it, Vancouver? Yeah, Vancouver, because yeah, apparently it was filmed in Vancouver, which I did not know until I uh, looked it up. Oh, I think they were also going back and forth because they were trying to. You know, play with the audience, saying, "Oh, uh, this is actually you know a love story, right?" They're trying to get the woman involved in it too, and then all of a sudden it, it turns into a like a M- horror murder. story because it's you know it gets mutated and everything. But <laughs> they're just you know playing around with the audience for sure. Um, one one thing that also made me feel like they were playing around with was the part where he's trying to you know see his uh, his girlfriend again, even though despite his uh, disfigured appearance, mm-hmm. and he's really fighting with himself to see her. So then he's gonna, you know, try to meet her in the in the alleyway, I guess, right? Uh, from the strip club, which, yeah. uh, like the cameo we were talking about earlier, Stan gr- Lee's a stripper DJ. Yeah, they said the gratuitous cameo that Stan Lee uh, was in there, which was kind of funny and hard to miss. <laughs> but anyway, so when he's going outside, uh, well, you think he's gonna go outside to meet her? I thought they were gonna kind of parody the Spider-Man, you know, the yeah, first, yeah, 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 you know, where like he's hanging. Yeah, yeah. I thought they were gonna parody that, but they obviously went a different way, and they had Francis capture her. Um, well, but great res- great power comes great irresponsibility. Yeah, <laughs> but did you think that was that might happen too? That, that it, it was so set up like that. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Or at least you know he jumps from the top and be like, "Hey there." <laughs> yeah. But but no, that 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 didn't happen. I guess so. they changed it. Maybe. Or missed yeah. opportunity. Who yeah. knows? Yeah, because I thought that way he could have kept his mask on in a way that way he wouldn't have had to show his face at that point. Maybe it would have felt better that way, but. So, what did you think about the other characters, like uh, the the two X, the two only X Men, the CGI character? I really liked uh... Negasonic <laughs> uh, teenage. Uh, what was her name again? Negasonic teenage nuclear. I don't know. Warhead, something like that. Yeah, I forget her name, but uh, Colossus. Yeah, I liked I liked the way Colossus. Was he looked done. good. He sounded good too. He had the ac- Russian accent. Yeah. Because the reason he looked like that was because in uh, Days of Future F- Past, the guys were look at their. The, uh, the guys of the Deadpool movie were like, that guy looks like a pussy. We need to make our Colossus better. Oh, uh, yeah, that could be that. Yeah, because they didn't... No, 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 because I, I read it was like they thought that version of him was pussy because it was, it was just the guy and he just turned all metal and stuff. But this Colossus, like, this he looks they, good. They kept him in the metal throughout the whole film. You never actually see his, uh, his human yeah, or body. Unsheathed. Yeah, unsheathed body. <laughs> uh, what else can we say about Deadpool? Well... Mm. Definitely, there will be a sequel, that's for sure. Uh, they... Oh, yeah, with the stuff at the end with uh, getting Cable in. No spoilers or anything, because <laughs> Deadpool and Cable are apparently, like, partners in crime. Well, not crime, but, you know, they're a team. Yeah, I mean, uh, as part of the X-Force, right, um, the comic books. Yeah, because um, if you also played the Deadpool game, you know, like, Cable's always there to, to nag Deadpool on, yeah. so it's like, oh, I, I'm not surprised. But uh, I I would, I would see the sequel. Did you like the way that they they did the um, not spoiler, but like setting up the sequel at the end, like the way that uh, he's like, "What are you guys doing here? Go, 
Or the Ferris Bueller reference <laughs> at the end. Did you like that? Or uh, Only if you get the reference and it's kind of funny. But, but otherwise it's kind of like, oh, Deadpool's in the bathrobe. Cool. Yeah, it was definitely a Ferris Bueller reference for sure. No, uh, but the, the thing is, they never made a sequel to that movie, did they? No, no. no. Ferris Bueller's Day Off was only just one thing. Oh, I guess, yeah. I guess he signed off for the day off. But uh, with Deadpool, I'm hoping they can bring... I mean, other characters would be cool as well. Yeah, like get a higher budget because the budget seems a little low for this. Yeah. Which, um... There are not a... There, there's only like one gunfight with Deadpool where he uses his pistol and stuff because the rest of the time he's just... Swords, like right? afterwards it's just using his swords. Samurai. Which is cool. But it's like, I also kind of wanted to see him like crack jokes while, uh, or, you know, say crazy stuff while like shooting the guns. Yeah. Because like he was loading up to go save his girlfriend and then it's like... He leaves the stuff in the taxi car. It's like, oh, Deadpool, did you, uh, okay. <laughs> that part I kind of, I kind of didn't like because I, I, I wanted more gunplay. Because there were some situations where I'm like, Deadpool, I don't, even if you're Deadpool, I don't think you would have gone through without unshaven. I guess maybe they wanted to show that he was a versatile, you know, character that he can use uh, swords if he has to. Oh, well, apparently he's not. not apparently he's not versatile enough to grab other people's gun to shoot oh, them. Oh yeah, true. That was always a thing I noticed because he was like, he was like, shit, I'm running out of bullets, and I'm like, rifle, rifle, shotgun. It's like, hello, guns, guns, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like. I guess he's comfortable with his own stuff. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Because he he wants to be badass, but you yeah. know he he like. Badass and not efficient, because, like, when he got Francis where he wanted, he escaped, and it's like, oh. I, I kind of expect that. That's very Deadpool-like. Yeah. Uh, this Deadpool is not as crazy. He's kind of more... He's still kind of human-ish. He's kind of... Uh, he's. I mean, he's pretty crazy in some ways. Like, uh, there was one point where Colossus... They, they were going to bring him back to the... Uh, and he cuts I, his hand off. Yeah, he actually literally cuts his hands off, yeah. Because he can regenerate Yeah, he regenerates, so... Well, see, because it was kind of like, because um, when he was, before that scene, he was talking with Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Yeah. It was like, um, he was kind of like pissed off, like, like, uh, I had enough of your X-Men bullshit, Colossus. And then, you know, he got the emotional stuff with his girlfriend. Yeah. This This Deadpool seems a bit more human. Because all the other Deadpools I've seen, he's just, com just completely all like wacko. And uh, when you, whatever you're... He does touch his human side. He's like, he's really like all grim and dark about it because he's like, my past was really fucking sucks. Yeah, they, Here it is. they gave him a lot of sense of humor in this film for sure. Uh, even in the original comic, he wasn't like that initially. Yeah, they just... he was supposed to be a joke of a uh, Deathstroke, a parody. Yeah, I guess later on that's what they because his name's a parody for. of yeah. Deathstroke. Yeah, like instead sure. of Slade Wilson, it's uh, Wade Wilson. Ah, so it's pretty close. Nice. <laughs> Oh, what else can we talk about? Oh, uh, was there anything you didn't like about the film? Not to say that we're uh, pecking at things, because I already had my thing with the whole like, oh, budget seems out just small at some point with like, or like just specifically, why didn't he just pick up the guns and the? I want more gunfights. Yeah. Um. I mean, for for what it was, it it was a pretty short film. It was less than two hours. So. It was like an hour and. Nine, Fifty-eight like, minutes. Yeah, or so it was less than two hours. Yes. Yeah, it was. It was. So it, it went at a good pace. It didn't feel uh, like too short, right? It felt it felt about right for a, an opening or an origin story. Origin story. But, oh yeah, and so the, my other my other complaint that's completely invalidated because it's an origin story is yeah. the origin story itself. Because uh, I'm just like it, like I said, it took out like it felt like it took out half the movie, and I was just like, more Deadpool, please. Yeah. But I guess they felt that a lot of people weren't familiar with the character and they needed. No, it, ma it makes an idea. sense. It makes sense. That's why I said my comments invalidated. Yeah. And like that was still kind of like one of my only complaints. But you know, you, it's dismissible because you know it's an origin story. Yeah. But yeah, uh, definitely looking forward to the sequel. Uh, hopefully, they'll have a better, bigger budget, bigger budget, bigger cast, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Dead cool. All right, anything else to add to Deadpool? What do you want to bet in the Deadpool? Because I got nothing. <laughs> Actually, one more thing. We did mention uh, at one point they were making a reference to RoboCop at one point, remember? The, the whole better alive you're coming with me. <laughs> right? I, I could see that, but it yeah. was kind of like, mm, I'm not I'm not sure if I should have accepted that as well, it. 
So, but yeah, over overall, I'd recommend Deadpool, especially if you're not a uh, overly sens uh, an overly sensitive little bitch. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Parents. Yeah. All right, yeah, so go check out Deadpool if you haven't already. Unless you're dead or uh, you're in a pool, but uh, check it out. It's cool. Peace. Let's go, 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 let's go